Hey guys, Jonathan here with TLD with a quick look at Apple's upcoming OS and successor to Lion, which they completely ninja slapped everybody this morning. And I actually had no idea that it came out this morning, and I almost kind of had to laugh at the name, and that is, drumroll please, Mountain Lion. I don't know about you guys, but I think a lion will kick a mountain lion's ass any day of the week. Now, as far as the details go, it'll be released sometime this summer, 2012. If you currently have a developer account, you can check it out now as a beta. It looks more and more every day like Apple's trying to unify the iOS to the desktop experience. They're just bringing more and more features from the iPhone and the iPad to the desktop. A few of them stood out to me, one of them being messages, which a lot of you guys have been wanting and asking for. With messages, you'll finally be able to send iMessages from your Mac to your iPhone, to your iPod Touch, to your iPad. It'll be free. In addition to text, you can also send pictures and video. The next notable thing that stood out to me is AirPlay mirroring. They are finally bringing this to the Mac, which is awesome. So we've seen it on the iPad, we've seen it on the iPhone, where we can wirelessly send what we're doing, whether it's a movie or a game or a slideshow. Now some of the smaller features they're bringing to the desktop include notes, which is really no big deal. We've all seen that before. Reminders, again, no big deal. They're also bringing notification center to the desktop, and it's not only going to work with your messages or your email, but also with programs. So it's almost reminiscent of Growl, but now it is Apple-fied. We'll also see Game Center brought to the desktop. I personally don't use that too much on iOS. If you do, however, leave me a comment down below. And the last of the sneak peek features is Share Tabs, which again is very iOS-like. You can share things on the spur of the moment. So if you're browsing something, you see a picture, click the Share Tabs, you can either message it, tweet it directly from the browser. And I'm sure as time goes on, we'll see more application support for this feature. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you're feeling like being awesome, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It is much appreciated. It helps the channel out. If you are new and you haven't subscribed, feel free to do so by clicking the button right here. Check out our latest coverage on the PS Vita and I will see you guys later.